Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, I'm going to be talking about something that has uh, hit the news recently and is very tragic and sad. And yeah, I even felt despondent after hearing about this. It's someone named Stephen Hewitt Brown, 25 years old. He uh, wound up he wound up getting uh, pretty much, I guess you could say, sandwiched between caught between an elevator car and shaft. Uh, and, and he died sh shortly after that. And what happened was it was uh, something that was malfunctioning with the elevator. And he was able to, he had, there was a woman with him and he, he was able to push the woman out of, out of harm's way and onto one of the structure floors. But what happened was by, he was not able to save himself, unfortunately, because he couldn't, uh, he, he tried he got caught between the elevator car and the in the shaft and he tried to avert disaster but unfortunately he was not able to and this was in New York City and I think what makes this touching as well is that this enlightens some people out there there I'm from New York originally and there's a lot of people that, that have this misconception about New Yorkers and I think it's somewhat stereotypical that that a lot of them are or almost all of them or whatever are cold and callous and, and lack compassion and they're just about self-aggrandizement and only just worried about themselves uh really they couldn't be farther from the truth and i think uh that man who who died with so much uncommon valor and fortitude and courage i think he really showed that he had a, a friend that had commented uh after shortly after hearing about it about him dying and he i don't remember the exact words but the statement was that basically epitomized who he was that's what the person was basically conveying i'm using different verbiage but and the people have to remember that the reality is when when someone does this and that they do these kind benevolent acts the, these these people they do this in in all different locations in New York, I understand it's got the reputation for being a little bit rough, and I know it being fast-paced and everything, but people do, in many occasions, make that time, despite being in a hurry a lot, and being in a hurried and frenetic and fast-paced environment, they do reach out and they help others, and I think this shows uh, this was no exception in this instance, and I think the average person would not have been able to do what this person did and the person it's it's sad because when he was pinned between that elevator car and, and shaft he actually said to bystanders he told them to have a happy new year and that i mean the whole thing was so it is touching but but tragic all at the same time and i mean i'm still uh, i feel still as i said before i've been despondent this really saddened me but it was so touching as well that somebody was willing to take you when you hear a story about a, about a stranger doing this especially this person i don't believe even knew the woman and yet he was willing to have her her life take take precedence over over his own basically because i'm sure he knew when he when he got her out of that that whatever the the elevator car or what have you that he knew that there was a chance that it was going to be a perilous experience for him and he knew that was a i'm sure because you know most most people know near people are i'm not saying all but many are fairly street savvy and he knew i'm sure oh, close to 100 percent i don't know 100 percent but very close to it that he knew the possible repercussions that may occur by him uh saving that woman and that's what makes this even more more of a touching story that you hear about somebody doing this i mean it is so commendable in doing this right around new year's time and, and, the, and he was only 25 years old, mind you, and he had so many years going for him. And I feel so much sadness for the family and, and his close friends. I mean, imagine hearing something about that. He died with, 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 with all that, that being showing all that courage. And that almost, that kind of incident, in my mind, really epitomizes a courage and bravery in showing uh, fearlessness and somebody had tried to pull him out and the, the guy Stephen uh, Hewitt Brown had said something like leave me just leave me here 
I guess he probably figured that he, he felt, based on how he felt and the condition he was in, that he, I, my, my guess is that he felt even if he, that guy managed to pull him out, he, he probably felt he was going to die anyway. I, my opinion is he, I feel he probably would have, based on what had happened and what, and all the uh, trauma that he experienced from having, um, from getting pinned between uh, the elevator car and the shaft. It's something we'll never know, though, 100%. But I think the percentages say he probably would have perished anyway if, even if that guy managed to pull him out. And it obviously, I, from my, my feeling is it was obviously a laborious test because I think he, he, the guy did try hard to pull him out, but he just wasn't able, he didn't, wasn't able to do it anyway, I don't believe. So really, it just, I think this is a story. When people see this, the people... <coughs> Excuse me again, people. Sorry about that. My Taurus rising cough going on. Anyway, what I'm saying is the, the one positive in this story really is that when you see this, what, people can realize that, that New Yorkers can help others out. And not everybody's about being egocentric and, and so self-contained and, and just engrossed in their own uh, affairs in life. I don't mean sexual affairs necessarily. I'm talking about their own act, their, their own activities and their own things that they they feel that they need to do. And it's it's about you have people that show acts of humanitarianism and selflessness in, in New York, just like you have them every place else. In 9/11, many of you may remember, many New Yorkers did uh, come together when when it was absolutely necessary and. You saw a lot, a lot of efforts in, in people helping each other out in that particular time of adversity that the that the um, that the city had faced. So, anyway, people, uh, that's pretty much it. And this is Edwin Learner. Until next time, everyone, stay well.